guys, thanks for watching another episode of Mousetrap Genius. Uh, if you've been watching for more than the last episodes, you would have probably seen the review and test that I did of the Victor Tin Cat Multiple Capture Live Trap. It's a great trap. It's also great to see that a bunch of you guys went and ordered it from the link that I put down in the video description. Even a few of you sent me some photos of you guys like trapping mice in your own houses, which is great. Great to see that it works for you guys too. Uh, since using the Victor Tin Cat though, I did some research and ended up buying another multiple capture trap in the same class, which is the JT Eaton repeater multi-catch mouse trap. And a big reason that I decided to give the Eaton a try is basically that, well, the Victor Tin Cat is a really great trap, like I've said several times now. Uh, it doesn't have any good way to see the mice once they're actually in the trap, which makes it kind of a tough call. Do I want to take the trap outside and open it up? Do I not want to? Do I think I got one or not? Well, basically what Eaton has done is gone and put a transparent lid on this. Now, aside from the lid, they look about the same. The baffles are a little bit different, and the doors are a little bit smaller than they were on the Victor Tin Cat. So we're just going to want to test this one out, though, and see if going with the Eaton, which is in the same price class as the basic model of the Victor Tin Cat, is really worth it or not. And uh, unfortunately, or fortunately actually, I've run out of mice in my tool shed right here and in my house, which is a good thing, you know, it shows that shows that these traps are working. But uh, fortunately, my neighbor up the road has allowed us to borrow his shop to uh, test out the rest of our mouse traps here. So let's go up there, come on. All right, so we're coming in here to my neighbor's shop. Seems like a good place to uh, try out the JT Eaton because again it is a multiple capture trap and it is made out of metal so uh, you know good trap for a place like this we're just gonna set it along the wall right here because uh, you know like I said before mouse's natural movement patterns along the wall hopefully to just go through one of these entry points that's on either side of it okay well we will leave this overnight and see what happens Okay, so we're back up here in my neighbor's shop this morning, guys. Check on our JT Eaton repeater mouse trap. See if we got anything. And we'll just look in the little window here. Don't have to look inside or see how much it weighs or anything like that. And look at that. Looks like we got one. Turn it over in the light here so you guys can hopefully see it a little bit better. Yep, yep. Just a little, uh, looks like a, looks like a deer mouse right there. You can tell by uh, the fact that their tail has two stripes instead of one, which you might not be able to see on the camera, but I can see it pretty well. All right, well, it looks like we have discovered that the JT Eaton repeater does actually work. Uh, you guys are probably wondering why I'm dressed like this, since it is, in fact, only early November. Uh, the reason for that is uh, in the last episode, several of you, in fact, most of you, complained that I didn't take the mouse far enough away and you were concerned that it might come back, which actually is probably a valid worry. So uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna try and take this guy a little bit further away. Do one better on it in this episode. All right, you guys, come on. We're gonna take this a long ways away. Yeah, we are. All right, so this wall should hopefully be a good spot. It's got some little nooks and crannies where our mouse will maybe be able to hide. So it's a little snowy right there, but deer mice are actually good in cold climates. So otherwise, I wouldn't have brought him here. But let's uh, let's let this guy go. bud. It's okay. You can go. You have a new home now. Come on. Don't make me dump you out. All right. There he goes. <laughs> okay. Looks like he's gone already. <laughs> I think he's going to like it. Okay. Well, it looks like we have found out that the JT Eaton multiple catch mousetrap is a good mousetrap. And in fact, 
I think I may like it, I didn't think I was ever going to say this, but I may like it even better than the Victor Tin Cat, just because it has this transparent window that the uh, basic priced model Victor Tin Cat does not have. Uh, the transparent window in the front makes a world of difference when, you know, you're checking it. You're not sure if you got one or not. You don't want to have to, like, turn it over sideways and peer through the air holes with a flashlight to see if you can find one. Or, uh, worse yet, you know, open it up to see uh, before it's, because you know you don't want to you don't want to go and take it a long ways from your house to open it up and just find out that you know there's nothing in it but uh, you don't want to open it while it's in your house and find out that there is something in it because that's going to suck too you're going to end up with your mouse back in your house which is obviously not what we want so uh, in this class for the money I've got to say the JT Eaton multiple catch mouse trap is my favorite trap. Didn't think I was gonna say that, thought the Victor Tin Cat was gonna keep that award, commendation, whatever you wanna call it. But uh, no, JT Eaton. So I, I hope you guys, hope you guys are able to get one of these. Great, humane, multiple capture trap, best in its class right now in my opinion. All right, well, I hope you guys found this video helpful. I hope uh, you're able to watch the rest of the videos on my Mousetrap Genius channel. Uh, if you're not subscribed to that already, please go ahead and subscribe. We've got lots more great stuff coming, lots more great traps. As always, if, uh, if you're able to use one of my traps and you have success with it, or you don't have success with it, let me know in the comments uh, how it works for you. And uh, if you have a trap that you'd like to see me review that you're not quite sure about, that I don't have a review about, as long as it is a live capture trap that's all I'm doing for this channel live capture traps uh, let me know the name of that trap and uh, we'll see we'll see if we can't get them to get them to send one to us so we can do a, a review about it okay guys thanks so much for watching and again don't forget to subscribe to mousetrap genius so you can learn how to catch mice humanely yourself and become a mousetrap genius also okay thanks for watching guys